Hello everyone, myself Pinkal Patel from MG Tech Namsari. Today I am going to discuss about symmetric cipher model and attacks on the encrypted messages. So, this video lectures cover symmetric cipher model, terminology used for symmetric cipher model and the types of attack on the encrypted messages such as cipher text only known plain text, chosen plain text, chosen cipher text, chosen text etc. So, first of all we will discuss symmetric cipher model. In symmetric cipher model, sender has a plain text input x. So, plain text is the original message which has to be sent from sender to receiver. Next, on the input message, we will apply the encryption algorithm. So, what is encryption algorithm? Encryption algorithm performs various substitution and transformation on the plain text and convert the plain text to the cipher text. So, for that, encryption algorithm takes input, uh, input as a plain text x and the secret key k. So, what is the secret key? Secret key is the key which is shared by the sender and the recipient. So, its value is only known by the sender and the receiver and its value is independent of the algorithm and the plain text. After generating the cipher text, this cipher text is transmitted to the receiver. So, by applying the encryption algorithm to the input input x and the secret key k, we will generate the cipher text y. Cipher text is transmitted to the receiver and on the receiver side, receiver will apply the decryption algorithm and generate the plain text. Now, what is the decryption algorithm? Decryption algorithm is the reverse of the encryption algorithm which will take input as a cipher text and the key and generate the plain text message which is our original message. So, this is the symmetric conventional symmetric cipher model. Now, we will see some of the terminologies. As we have earlier discussed, plain text is our original message. Encryption algorithm is the algorithm which perform various substitution and transformation on the plain text to convert the plain text to the cipher text. Next is secret key. Secret key is a key which is only known by the sender and receiver and which is used as an input to the encryption and decryption algorithm and its value is independent of the algorithm and the plain text. Next is what is cipher text? Cipher text is a scrambled message produced as the output of the encryption algorithm and its value is depend on the plain text as well as the secret key. Next is what is decryption algorithm. So, decryption algorithm as we have earlier discussed is the reverse of the encryption algorithm and it takes the cipher text as the input, input and the secret key as the input and produce the original plain text. Next is the enciphering or encryption. The process of converting plain text to cipher text is known as enciphering or encryption and the process of restoring the plain text from the cipher text is known as deciphering or decryption. So basically encryption is the process of converting from plain text to cipher text and decryption is the process of converting cipher text to plain text. Now what is cipher? Cipher is a way or method of hiding the message of plain text. So different different cipher are available in cryptography. So first is what is cryptography? Different algorithms are used for encryption. So the study of this algorithm is known as cryptography. Now we will see what is cryptanalysis. So different type of technique is used for decryption of the algorithm without the knowledge of enciphering or encryption detail. The study of this technique is known as cryptanalysis. So basically cryptanalysis means breaking the code. So cryptanalysis attacker try to find out the find out the plain text without knowing the details of the encryption. And the study of cryptography and cryptanalysis together is known as cryptology. So this is all about the terminology of symmetric cipher model. Next we will see what are the requirement and assumption for secure use of symmetric encryption system. So there are some requirements such as we need a strong encryption algorithm. Our algorithm should be such uh, algorithm should require very strong such that the attacker cannot identify the attacker cannot identify the key or the plain text and the shared secret key. 
in the sense that sender and receiver both have the shared secret key and no one else know the secret key these are the requirement and some of the exceptions are we don't need to keep the algorithm secret that is the cipher is known by all and the, for distribution of the secret key the secure channel is available these are the exception for the symmetric encryption system now we will see attacks on the encrypted messages so we first we will discuss brute force attack in brute force attack attacker will try every possible key on a piece of cipher text until an intelligible translation into the plain text is obtained so attacker will try different different type of key to obtain the plain text from the cipher text so in this attack on average half of all possible key are tried to achieve the success next we will discuss cipher text only attack in cipher text only attack alice and bob are communicating with each other then eve is an attacker or cryptanalyst so here eve knows that the encryption algorithm and cipher text so in this attack the attacker can only observe the cipher text they can only see what all of us see so the attacker doesn't have any of the plain text that went into the encryption algorithm they have no idea about what plain text are created the cipher text and they are totally passive so most encryption algorithm are not vulnerable to this type of attack attack so the success of attacker attacker's probability of success is very low next attack is known plain text attack in this attack the cryptanalysis know the encryption algorithm cipher text one or more plain text cipher text pair form with the secret key so attacker know the plain text that generate the cipher text so they can observe the plain text cipher text pair this attack has a significantly better chance of success than the cipher text only attack but the simple encryption algorithm such as exclusive or cipher can vulnerable to this type of attack next we will see chosen plain text attack in this attack attacker know the encryption algorithm cipher text plain text message chosen by the cryptanalysis so here attacker can select or choose the plain text that is sent through the encryption algorithm and observe the cipher text that is generated so this is an active model being able to choose any plain text and observing the cipher text gives the attacker a strong idea about the working of the algorithm and the secret key and another another approach here attacker can apply is generate a database of popular plain text and cipher text and then use this database of common plain text cipher text pair to determine the cipher text input next is chosen cipher text chosen cipher text attack in this attacker know the encryption algorithm cipher text cipher text chosen by the crypt analysis with its corresponding decrypted plain text generated with the secret key so in this type of attack attacker can attacker can choose the cipher text and analyze the plain text generated with that secret key last attack is chosen text attack in this crypt analysis know the encryption algorithm cipher text plain text chosen by the crypt analysis with its corresponding cipher text generated with the secret key cipher text chosen by the crypt analysis with its corresponding decrypted plain text generated with the secret key this means that they can select the plain text encrypt it and observe the cipher text and then reverse the end and entire process so this model has a good probability of success generally the encryption algorithm which are designed uh, which are designed has a capability to the withstand the only known plain text attack that's all about attacks on the encrypted messages thank you